Hey, I'm Falco from Bitwig and I want to show you some, uh, some pieces of workflow in Bitwig Studio. Um, our door, which came out a year ago and um, yeah, let's have a look. So I have this simple arpeggio here going. It's a, it's a note clip um, here and um, now I will take some of my traditional tools that I have up here and I will just cut out a little portion here and I can by right click just say bounce in place and it will bounce this this piece to audio so as you can see um, uh, both uh, audio and uh, notes can be present at the same time on the same clip and you can just use it to uh, uh, quickly uh, bounce something and um, uh, put in little variations or, some, uh, or something like that uh, I can um, show up this uh, now in what we call edit mode. So it's a, it's a large view of the audio. I can even make it larger here. And uh, I can go in now with my tools and um, yeah, for example, just, uh, just cut something out or, or I move things around or I double it. Just, um, yeah, it's really flexible audio editing. We are still within the audio clip. So, um, now if I want to continue to play with that, I can also um, take this region, uh, this, this clip, and move it over here into my clip launcher because you can have a clip launcher and the linear ar arrangement um, uh, simultaneously in the same view. So now I, I go back into this. So this is now my, my, my audio clip. And I will, uh, from this random arpeggio I had going, I just take this, maybe this. This first thing, I move it over here and I go into our inspector. And maybe I, I pitch this up. So, yeah, this is now something uh, audio that, that came originally from, our, from my instrument, randomly arpeggiating clip. Now, I go back here into my um, device chain and um, um, I will... So these are relevant for the, for the incoming notes which are now not coming, so I will uh, fold them aside and maybe put in a... Make it a louder. So this uh, delay, what you can see here is a slot called Feedback FX, which means in the feedback chain of the, of the delay, I can introduce uh, more devices now um, uh, to process the, um, the feedback loop of the delay. For example, I put in a, a reverb here, or I can put in a, um, a frequency shifter. That will gradually shift the, the, the delay feedback. Or if I don't like that, I put in a distortion, so you can very easily, maybe I just put down the, the speed of the, the playback speed a little, so I can uh, in a modular way kind of create um, tape delay uh, style effects and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty free um, of doing any sort of sound design like that and go from one idea to the next and kind of uh, build it. Is there kind of is there that sort of um, modularity on each of the on each of the different plugins? Because I can see on say that uh, reverb there's uh, wet effects and stuff. So tank effects. Yeah, exactly. So on on each of the or pretty much each of the um, of the devices, 
um, uh, we have a slot here that's um, uh, like a, a useful modular um, uh, um, uh, input to add more effects. So on this distortion, I can on the wet part now, yeah, it's really open for experimentation. I just put a resonator bank and create this crazy feedback. <laughs> so, yeah, so on each of the devices, there's uh, uh, pretty much each of the devices is there are these effect slots. Um, here, for example, on the reverb, I have from the reverb tank, um, uh, I can add additional effects into that, and or only on the uh, uh, on the wet part of the effect. So yeah, but even now in this little uh, setup here, we have like several devices been um, interacting with each other with uh, with each other. So um, yeah, like within a few minutes, we have kind of a modular setup of uh, of devices, and which is very nice for. Yeah, being creative with anything you throw at it, basically. So is that important for um, Bitwig to have that element of uh, modularity to the interface? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I would say it's uh, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the key features and it's going to be expanded um, uh, in, uh, even more in a future version where uh, you will be able to take all of the devices apart and kind of rebuild them uh, internally. So almost like a uh, Max or PD sort of thing? Comparable to that, but it's, uh, it's not something like uh, um, a software that it's somehow um, put into there or made fit into there. It's, it's part of the, the general door and um, like it's deeply integrated into that. So it's not something you have to open separately and um, uh, kind of figure out how it interacts. So it, it, it will be... Uh, yeah, very closely connected to the to the door in its basics. So, um, how has the feedback been so far this year? Has it been awesome? Pretty, pretty good, I would say. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, especially I think it's attracting people who are interested in um, um, yeah going in and um, uh, building their own. Uh, sounds and ideas because it's so intuitive and uh, quickly to do with it and for the most part uh, a lot of fun and um, uh, yeah I would say that's our our goal to provide something um, uh, that's fun and inspiring to use um, and it's not um, and trying to avoid uh, all the barriers you you're you're encountering when when using uh, software to make music so Thank you very much. Okay, enjoy. Thank you.